Hi, Miner Dan here. Welcome back to the Nameless Realm. Um, today I think I'm going to build um, a church. Hence the title. So let's get at it. So this is kind of going to be a uh, gothic kind of church. Um, smaller than what you'd see. It's not like a cathedral or anything like that. But this is where I got it laid out. Um, I think the fit will be all right. It's a little tight. The entrance is going to be right here and there'll be a side entrance over here as well. So, all right, let's grab. All Welcome to the stream. I'm working on a church. So, um, something I put together in my test world, and I got some screenshots here, so I'm going to put it in the real world here on the Nameless Realm. I was kind of worried that this thing was going to be taller than the lighthouse, but it looks like no, not even close. Because that would be kind of weird. Forgive me if I zone out. I'm still not used to building and talking. <laughs> So that should be the height of all the different portions. Oh, real quick. Laid these down so that I kind of had an idea of where everything was going to be. Oops. Use my soap touch for that. Start on this side since that's the picture I'm looking at.
go back through and put all that back in, randomize this time so that it kind of makes it easier for me to see where I'm at. Get some stone blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Here and here, here and here, because those are going to be windows. And there. And this is actually a door right here. And put that in real quick. grab some stone stairs too, stone block stairs, but we can come back for that. But in the rest of these walls, probably use less gravel. Like I'm a lot of gravel, but I guess it really doesn't matter. I'll come back for that. I think to make it easier on I me, mean, I'm going to place all these window blocks and so that I know where the windows are. There. It's four wide. And one there. This should be five.
go straight up with the walls. See if I got any stone stairs with me. Eh, I got some. It's not going to be enough, but some. I always. Oh, I got some more here. I can always make like a million more if I wanted to. Not really worried about it. Be there but we'll fix it later should be another one here for those first so we'll do that real quick Sorry if the uh, keyboard and mouse is coming through. I'm trying to work out the best way to do that. It seems like if I make it so the mic doesn't pick that up and then it kind of cuts me out. Kind of annoying because I'll be talking and it'll just stop and it's really sucky. I think it still does it. I can't really tell. Kind of a balancing act on that one. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Maybe one day I'll get a better mic. Man can dream. much from a Walmart mic, right? Picking that up terribly, too. Sorry about that.
Okay, so more stairs. I can do this without them being upside down. I always like putting these stairs around the windows, kind of like that. Gives a little bit more depth to it. And that is the secret to making a crappy Minecraft build look good, is add depth. Need some scaffolding now. Fun. There we go. Like there's a window right here. Off center. Interesting. I think there's because there's supposed to be like a little pillar right here. So when you look at it, it looks center, but it really isn't. It works. So basically what I did, and I really should have grabbed the picture, um, I went online and I looked at pictures of different churches in a medieval time period, found one that kind of would work, and then I used that as a reference to build this in my test world. And then I took a buttload of uh, screenshots of it so that I could build it on stream without having to bounce back and forth to my test world every five minutes because that would kind of stink.
down a couple. Because the bell tower is at the top here, and I need an opening for that. Like it's four. plans for this island is that it's actually going to be one giant village. I got a villager breeder and a trading hall over that way. So I want this entire island to be just one giant village with villagers running around doing things. So I'm building all the different types of buildings that you would find in a village. Yeah, that works. Need more scaffolding. That. Really can't build scaffolding on top of stairs. That's new. Sun, waiting for the sun, waiting, waiting. I just don't want creepers to come in and blow me up. That happens a lot. I didn't randomize that. Of course I didn't. I was wondering why gravel didn't fall in my face. That wasn't much better, was it? Looks like the mic the mic's not picking up the controller as much, but it still is. I'm hoping to get a actual fancy dancy mic stand eventually, and then I can put the mic right up to my face, and all you can hear is my lovely voice. Yeah. I think that's the farthest I've ever seen those guys roam. They don't like to come over here, which is kind of annoying. I'm worried that the village size kind of stops right here, so they may not go beyond that point. So it may actually end up being two separate villages on the island. Which should be fine, I guess.
Uh oh, I'm on the stairs. Should have brought my uh, crafting table with me. Do it. No. make some stairs. these pillars right here Oop, making the uh, thing look cooler how it does that. I didn't think that would work.
All right now we can do 30 sample. Scaffold team first. Waste not, want not. to do that fine we're good there's a window there it's four high of course it's gravel Do the other side's wrong. Those are supposed to be steps. I guess it doesn't really matter. Cool. That's so fun. About as fun as mining sand, just watching it all explode like that. Here, step. Beautiful. on top of these two. To look and see how high those go. I think they only go up like nine blocks or something like that. Oh no, the height of it is nine, so it's probably seven or eight. I'll look at it. Starting to look like something. That side is good. Let's take the scaffolding down. I'm gonna 
fix that real quick. It'll bother me if I don't. more blocks. I should randomize them too, but I'm just going to go back through later and kind of randomly stick in the uh, cracked blocks and all that. Mossy stone I'm going to only use on the bottom because it seems like moss would grow there first, but I'm not really worried about randomizing it. This one just goes to there. These ones go up a little higher. Not much higher though. So gonna have to go through and landscape this because it really doesn't fit. I have to extend out the island a little bit. That's all good. As a rule of thumb, it's always best to build in Minecraft in odd numbers. So, I don't know, it just makes it easier to like do symmetry. Sometimes, especially if you want double doors in the front of the building, you don't have a choice. So, sometimes you gotta do stuff like that. Which is fine, it works. We'll ever know.
I tell you, out of all the mobs in Minecraft, I think the creeper is probably the most terrifying. Always, like, worry the ones that's gonna walk up behind me and explode. Which, not so funny story, is I was in my uh, storage room one day, and above it, there's like this little solar clock thing I got built. There's one little spot that wasn't properly mob controlled and a creeper actually dropped down behind me in my storage room and exploded. For months after that I couldn't walk in my storage room without like pacing around and checking every little thing to make sure there's no creepers. Even after I fixed it it was still like terrifying. Definitely developed a complex for creepers I guess. All good. We all need some kind of complex right? some more walls. This randomizing technique I do is nice. Basically you're just scrolling through your hotbar as you're placing blocks like so. Works out nicely but it, it fills your hotbar so it makes it kind of a pain. Yep, yeah, that's fine. brought more blocks with me. Enough for what I need. Or not. Probably gonna say not. just pretend I meant to do that.
Oops, one too high. Looks like it's just pretty much the same as all the rest of them. Better eat something. Casting really was a nice addition to the game, I admit. Not as enthusiastic about the upcoming update though. There's a lot of stuff that I think is going to be really cool. But one thing that worries me is that they are going to increase the world height so that they can make room for all the new caves, which is great. But the problem is, is for worlds like this that are four years old, that means whenever I would load a new chunk, there'd be this giant wall, uh, which would suck. Which basically means I would not be able to upgrade this world. Really suck. But hopefully they figure out a way to do that without basically creating a ton of chunk errors, which well, I did it again. More stairs. See how that plays out. I think if they was to, instead of raising it, kind of lower it, which I don't know how you'd do that because you'd be going into negative at that point. They're gonna have to do some very clever things. And I think they could do it if they really, really wanted to. Just a matter of do they really, really want to. Because the easy thing would do is just to increase the world height and let it play out like it does. I and mean, they've done that with pretty much every other update. But if they could figure out a way to, like, retroactively increase the world height for all the old chunks, and then figure out a way to, like, do all of the, the funkiness at bedrock as opposed to at world height, then that would be much, much appreciated. See how that works. Of course, it's all a rumor at this point whether they'll even increase the world height. I think it has to do with something Exumavoid said in his uh, update video that they've changed some of the variables to the world height, which suggests that they plan on increasing it, but 
obviously we don't know. They are not saying, so. Hopefully Mojang doesn't, because that would suck. Because I really do like the update. I mean, the glowing squid, that's kind of pointless. Um, it's just a reskid of regular squid. Unless they drop glowing ink that you can like dye blocks so they glow in the dark. That would be really cool. But if it's just a retexture of the squid we already got, I mean, what's the point? And I didn't even make stairs. Ugh. What happens when you get talking? Oh well. And um, yeah, so that would be cool. Um, candles is actually the only thing that really interests me, which is, seems kind of stupid, but I mean, more light sources are just always appreciated. But I really, that's, I mean, the caves, it seems cool. The telescope thing is completely useless because I use Optifine, so I don't need no stupid telescope. And I probably would still use Optifine and not the telescope. Copper, it's kind of cool having a color changing block, but other than that, there's really no use for it. So I would, I wouldn't really miss that all that much. But the problem is, is that it basically cements this world in 1.16 forever because you would never be able to update it because you'd get chunk airs. Chunk airs suck. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. Hopefully something cool. Hopefully something cool. Dropping frames. That sucks. My internet's been crappy lately. I think I've only dropped 16 though, so I guess it's not horrible. to do that. Yep. Do that. We can put the windows in. All right. I probably shouldn't have picked so many colors because it doesn't. Fine. <laughs> oh, that's just terrible. But hey, maybe it'll work out. so much of the same color but you know random is random
Yeah, that probably would have worked better if I would have picked fewer colors and spread it out across the bar more. I'm gonna go with it. Of course. Much for random. I guess I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. There we go. Random. wait until I put the roof on for those windows. Clear that way. Oh, that's supposed to be a door. Thank you. 